servants? Oh, my servants, are you pleased? Are you happy? Of course we are happy. Of course we are happy. Are you pleased with me? Are you happy? Are you pleased? Of course you are Allah. My servants, I want to give you another gift after this, another gift that's going to make you even more happier. What is that, O oh Allah? My servants, when you were in the world and you used to worship me and you used to listen to me and you used to read the Quran, not all these words are mentioned in the hadith. The hadith mentions only that you used to worship me. But I'm giving you a description of that worship. You used to read the Quran or you used to pray your salah or you used to do the dhikr, do my dhikr. Oh my servants, you were in the earth, you used to do all of that, you couldn't see me. I was watching you, I used to see you, I used to watch you do dhikr, I used to watch you do tilawa, I used to watch you give sadaqah, I used to watch you smile. I used to watch you be kind to people, I used to watch you forgive people, you never saw me, I was watching you. Oh my servants, today is the day when I would want to lie, I like to reveal myself to you. I want to reveal myself to you, Allah. Now for, for Allah to reveal himself to us, you know what Allah will do? Allah will say, oh my angels, oh my angels, get together, get together. You know when you're going to see a king or a queen, Allah, they make months of preparation, yes or no? Months of preparation. Don't worry guys, no security needed here. Yeah? If you're a copper here, don't get no job in Jannah. Yeah? Don't get no job in Jannah. Right? So what happens is, Allah just tells all the angels, get all the people of Jannah together. What happens? What happens? How are we going to get together? You know, like a theater. Allah wants everybody to see Allah without being blocked by anybody else. Allah wants us to see Him without being blocked by anything else. So how does Allah do that? Allah says, Oh my angels, prepare for them cushions that are going to be flying in the air. On these cushions, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you're going to be. Inshallah. Say, Inshallah. Inshallah is the house. We're going to be reclining on the cushion. It's going to be such a nice soft cushion. A green, green cushion. It looks very soft. That cushion flies with you in, on the, in the air. That cushion lifts you up and takes you in a position. The closer you are to Allah, the higher Allah will make you be. The closer you are to Allah, the highest position you will have. Hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of cushions that are all reclining. They will be reclining on their cushions. They will be looking and watching. Allah is going to reveal himself to us today. What do Allah say? Oh my angels in the world, my servants never could see me. And I used to see my servants. I am asking you, my angels. The veil that is between me and my servants, I'm asking you to really reveal and release that veil. So they will reveal and move the veil away. Now the hadith says, when we will see Allah, we will see Allah, we will see Allah. We will forget the drinks of Jannah, we will forget the food of Jannah. We will forget the greenness of Jannah. We will forget the pleasures of Jannah. We will forget the women of Jannah. We will forget the ni'mah and the blessings of Jannah. We will forget the clean air of Jannah. We will forget the faces of Jannah. We will forget the sounds of Jannah. We will forget the music of Jannah. We will forget the drinks of Jannah. We will forget the wine of Jannah. We will forget the friends in Jannah. We will forget the people of Jannah. We will forget the palaces of Jannah. We will forget the rubies of Jannah. We will forget the gold and silver of Jannah. We will forget the whole of Jannah. We will forget everything besides Allah and me and you will be watching Allah and watching him and looking at him and looking at him and that will be the greatest gift anybody has ever received. Anybody has ever received, that's the beautiful thing. The hadith says, one hadith says, from one Jumma to another Jumma, some people will look without even blinking. Another hadith says even longer. Another hadith says even longer. There's one hadith that says a person who will be gifted by Allah will look at Allah and look at Allah for 300 years and not move away. 
300 years. Once you see Allah, my friend, once you see Allah, nothing is more pleasurable than Allah Himself. Mm -hmm.